Hi everyone, my name is Dego, and I want to just share something I learned uh, that is pretty interesting. Um, so I'm going to jump right to it. So we have R3. So this is going to be a math video. Well, let's think about R3. Okay, we have, so this is the real uh, space that we know and love. We have uh, x, y, z, right? This is fine, right? We have the basis vectors that are linearly independent and orthogonal, right? We have uh, 1, 0, 0 belonging to x. We have 0, 1, 0 belonging to y and 0, 0, 1 belonging to z. Now we can also imagine R2, right? This would just be, this can be anything, it's super arbitrary, but um, I'm just going to stick to the basics and say uh, we have uh, x and y, and the basis vectors are 1, 0 for x and 0, 1 for y. Now, something that I found very confusing was the difference between C1 and R3, R2, sorry, R2. Now, think about this for a second. How do we show complex numbers in the real space? Well, we have, first of all, one of the axes to be the imaginary axis and the other one the real axis. And then we can say, we can represent a number like 1 plus i as 1 here, and then we have 1i, which is just uh, in the imaginary space, it's a factor of 1. So right here. And we can connect this to make a vector. So we made a vector in two-dimensional real space uh, from this. Now, what really confused me is trying to find the basis of something like, let's say, C2. C2, you would think that the basis would be something like uh, 1, 0, then you would have uh, 0, 1, then you would have i, 0, right, and 0, i, right? Because in R2, you have two dimensions, so one complex dimension equals two real dimensions, so if you think about it, you might have uh, in C2, double the amount of dimensions you would have in our in our uh, in the real space right so for example in here you have two complex dimensions but you have four real dimensions but this is actually not the case this is not how it actually works in complex space we have we actually have the same as in real space. We have, so let's say this is C2. In C2, we have two dimensions that are complex. So this one is complex, and this one is complex, right? So we can have a vector, the basis vectors of C2 are actually 1, 0, and 0, 1. They don't involve i's at all. Why is this? Well, because in C2, i is a scalar. It's not part of another dimension, like it is in the real space. So at first, you would think that C2 is actually a four-dimensional real space, but it's not. It's 
actually a two dimension so it is a four dimensional real space but you can't imagine it in uh complex space so here we can have for example this is one right in here we have uh this vector is one zero well this one we can if i let's say i plus one is a scalar we can treat one zero times one plus i which is just a scalar we can turn into one plus i zero and that would correspond to something like this but we can't really accurate ac accurately pinpoint what this one plus i is in the complex space we can't imagine it and that's why they're called imaginary numbers because we can't like we can imagine it if it's in the real space but in the complex space it's something we actually can't imagine because it's out of our grasp we can't we can deal with uh one two three as scalar multiple uh scalar factors right uh, of uh multiplication but we can't deal with i two i and much less things like one plus i as a scalar we have to envision this as a vector in the real space but complex space it's totally different. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.